Hello, my flightless friends, and welcome to Genshin Impact. Quick disclaimer before I get started, this is going to be my alt account, I'm just starting on it. I have progressed all the way to Fontaine on my main account, but I kind of want to get the whole story on video for you guys. Um, my plan is to eventually switch to my main account once my alt is caught up, but... See, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I build a team I like better for recording. And without further ado, let's begin. So, what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. <laughs> Oh man, oh, I never got to see that cutscene in full before. When I first, um, when I first played the game, it was, uh, on my phone around launch, so my phone could not handle the graphics of some of the, uh, cutscenes. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go with Lumine this time, because on my main I picked either, and I love him, oh man, and his voice actor, phenomenal. But... I kind of like Lumine's design better. I I'm, a, I'm a stickler for outfits <laughs> and small details on them. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Lumine, and I am going to go with my screen name, Corvus, as my default. I know I can change this later if I really want, so I'm not too pressed. Ouch. And just like that, the god took away my brother. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So whilst we used to cross world after world, we are now trapped here. Man, I mean, I didn't... How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. After I awoke, I was all alone. Right up until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. Her voice is so much less squeakier in the beginning Please quest. Oh my god. Let's get going. What was I saying? I can't remember. Well, if it's important, it'll come back to me. Um, I don't think there are any materials to gather this early on in the game, so I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just follow Paimon. Ooh. Crab. Damn it, I missed that. We're ignoring that. I didn't miss anything. There wasn't anything on the shoreline at all. Beat the shit out of this slime. Why not? Let's get some condensate early on. Or not works for me, you know, whatever, whatever. We just go with the flow here. We're not thinking or trying too much. Open the world map. Select an unlock teleport waypoint to teleport to that location. I'm not teleporting two feet to the right. I'm sorry. Not happening. Follow the mini-map to your destination. Yeah, yeah, and I know shortcuts. B's inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know better than to climb with no stamina. Climb on. Ah, see what I tell you. I know better than that. 
Do 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 well, personally, I want to see my man Venti or uh, Fiorina because she is funny as hell. She's she's low key giving me like a, a Danganronpa character. Fiorina's <laughs> Fiorina's something straight out of Danganronpa, and you can't tell me otherwise because you're wrong. What was that? I'm seeing things. Yeah, I'll. I'll... I'll grind for food and mats and stuff off camera. I'm not gonna do too much of that here because, you know, I don't want to bore you guys. Oh, this view was breathtaking when I first saw it. And you can see Celestia right up here. Look at that. That's a statue of the Seven. There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the seven gods, this god controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but... Oh yeah, probably not. He is not helpful in the slightest. <laughs> Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's a reason why. What, free food? Adventures? Handbook? What? <laughs> why here? Most convenient, since we were on the... What? Oh, where did you go? Poetry oh. and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your brother. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. Whoa! You never know unless you Paimon! So like you popping wheels in this joint? No. You doing donuts up in this joint? Oh, get the fox. Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! We got him. Okay. Ooh, I see more eggs. I see more eggs. I see more eggs. I... I'm gonna need these in the early game. Woo. Okay. Oh, jeez, I forgot to set that. Oh, well. I didn't miss out too much. Um, swim right over. Yep, I'm on it. There's one thing I'm well known for. It is... Swimming. <laughs> to totally. Yeah. Magic. Whoosh. That was a pretty sound effect. Wow. I wish all the animations for unlocking the first of an element statue of the seven were that pretty. Man! Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> I can't go outside that area yet. Oh, that confines me so much. Okay. Ooh, this is great. You just feel the elements of the world? Nah, just the one. Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Uh, it's uh -huh. because... It's because you're not from this world to begin with. Yeah! If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Ah, good old Mondstadt. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo. So perhaps, because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your brother. Let's I mean, it's a bit of a stretch, but... The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. You know what, Paimon? You're absolutely right. Whoosh! Oh! Windblade! Oh my gosh. Um, did you... Do any of you know that... Either's voice actor is the same as Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. So in his uh, beta voice line where he goes, Windblade, <laughs> originally he was screaming like <laughs> he was slaying demons or something. Oh, you have to check that video out. It is so funny. Oh, wait. Is this part of the tutorial? Okay.
I will dismiss all of these exclamation points later because those annoy the hell out of me. Sorry, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> Fun little disclaimer. Sorry, it's a bit late. Ooh, treasure. Ah, oh, I missed some birds. That's fine. Whoa! Devon! Oh, he's so huge! With caution. Yeah. Whatever you say, Paimon. I'm not that pressed. Oh, Lumines is so cute. Is Just a little wind blade. Nah, I don't need lizard tails. Just yet. Yeah. Okay, okay, right, okay, no farming, no farming, no farming on screen, stop it. Stop it, Corvus. Ooh, but those foxes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I launched that one into outer space. Woo! Okay, those will be good for the early game. I know I missed the one fox. I didn't really feel like fighting Hilly Churls, so... Um, yeah, we're gonna let him go. We're gonna show him mercy. Uh, we can't kill them all anyways, because um, if we want more of the foxes to repopulate, you know, you gotta keep some alive. That's just good hunting practices. Good and proper hunting practices. Because I am totally ethical. <laughs> Yeah! Never had a doubt! Tree. I don't know why I wanted to do that. Okay. What now? Oh, it's just the part where. <laughs> okay, I'm ready for the sass. Sass incoming. Huh? Look at that! Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Who's there? Oh no. I think you didn't pull my hair out. Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. Hmm. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Is talking to dragons normal? Of course not. Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's yeah. take a closer look. Whoa, Paimon! Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon, your balls just dropped for a second there! Girl, what? Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. I'm just gonna gloss over that like nothing happened. Oh, die then! All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, oh yeah, because we're well, we're best here. suited to carry dangerous substances around. Like it's no big deal. I mean, I know there's some truth to that matter. Ooh, lamp grass. Sorry, I said I know no farming on camera, but uh, it's it's right here. It's right here. Okay, I'm just gonna, uh, open up my map, I'm gonna place a pin right here in the Whispering Woods, uh, come back for that later. I'm gonna need lamp grass for someone. I know. For a fact. Ooh. Ooh. Riesley's banner is still up, I might roll on that. Oh, look at those perky little bunny ears. Hello! Long time no see. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. 
Hold up, did they change her design? You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Yeah, real convincing Paimon. Thank you for that. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. Yeah, it's really not. I came up with it myself. And this mascot. What's the deal with it? I don't know, Hey, that's even worse than being a mascot. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? That's about right, yeah. Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. Oh, okay. So far from here, I'll escort you there. Oh, oh, sick. Aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. That's a rather rude way to speak I'm to sorry. guests. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I gotta slow down. I keep talking over the characters. That's my bad. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake. Yeah, you need to work on your diplomacy a little more, Amber. Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Ah, so that's where she got it from. That is so scripted. Yay, Amber! Yeah, I'm gonna have to check uh, her outfit on my main account because I'm pretty sure this was not it when I started. Oh, okay. Oh, suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? She got separated from her brother during a really, really long journey. Paimon Ooh, is her travel buddy, helping her to find her brother. That's right. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? Patrolling. It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. Ooh, iron. Oh, well, I missed one. No problem, no problem. It's not like I need snapdragons to send anyone. Oh, waypoint. Mushroom. Wow! This world is just full of wonder and delight! Look, I got nothing against um bow characters or anything, but my task this time is to clear out their camp. I just I don't really like Amber's gameplay a whole lot. Oh Oh shit. Okay. Ah oh, jeez. Well Go go Yeah. That's just, Baron Bunny is just too slow for me, my aim is shit, and... Yeah! Just not a good time for me, all in all. Ah, oh, fuck. Nothing to it. Though, I've gotta say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Fairly red with sweat. mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camp so close. Exactly. It's more normal for Whoopsies. them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can handle myself though, even at this level. I'll keep this close. Aww. <laughs> Lamine sounds so cute. She has a sweet voice. I don't know why I wanted to compare the way her voice sounds to cinnamon applesauce, like Mott's applesauce, 
or something. But that, you know, that's where I'm at. <laughs> that's where I'm at. Looming's voice gives me the same amount of euphoria as, like, uh, uh, a warm mug of apple cider. Oh, yeah. Just a breath of fresh air. Are we gonna learn how to cook? What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? Eh, you could say that. No, we just happen to be passing by. What are you cooking? Smells good! I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! Picnics are pretty nice, yeah. I wish I could go on one. I've been way too busy recently. My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. I oh, love cooking too. There's a cooking pot right there. Show me what you got. It's good to have someone to practice with. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. <laughs> I already got it. It's just it's showing me straight fucking nothing. Wow. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll get those right now. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Uh. Okay, I got it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, chicken mushroom skewer. She said. I'm on it. Do I have anyone with a bonus yet? No. Why would I? I literally just started the game. <laughs> they wouldn't hand me anyone with a cooking bonus yet. Okay, um, we got that. Radish veggie soup. Yep, works for me. We'll get some of this cooking out of the way early in the game, because I know they're not going to hand me a healer just yet. Um, I'm going to hold on to my steaks, but I am going to cook some eggs. Some little eggies! Man, it's been so long since I've had to, like, manually cook things. Because I need them, and not because I want the achievement for perfecting, like, 50 recipes. Whoa! How crazy is that? Here you go. Is it done? Mmm. Smells good. Let me try. Mmm. Mmm. That's not what wow sounds like, but pop off. Now that's really tasty. You're indeed gifted. Paimon told you so. Yeah, okay, ain't nothing to it. Skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh man, I wish I could. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon. Ah, oh, jeez, you black hole. I better keep you around for emergency food or I'm gonna starve with you eating me out of house and home. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. We got him. Okay. Uh, it might be a little bit curse of me, but I want the chickens really bad. I'll race you there. Oh man, I scared off like a whole flock of them just there. And I set Amber on fire too. Wow! Doing amazing today. Did I get one? Yeah, I got one. Or... Bet you can't keep up with me. Okay, good. Timmy's not here yet. Um, crap. Here's another one. And, uh, I'm about to say, and another one! Nah, not today. I'm not that gifted. I can barely shoot straight. Ha! Might be because I'm not! Ta-da! Okay. 
Swan and Lawrence aren't gonna stop me? Right, because I'm with Amber, why would they? Ooh, an adventure rank four. That's wild! Introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Thank you, Amber! Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. Yeah, I was about to say, Paimon with a dragon flying around storming the town. You really think people are going to be all smiles and giggles right now? But everything will turn out fine, as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Horse face? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Sounds like someone guys, pretty impressive. Headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey, why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. And because you didn't fucking help! But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. I'm crying. The Paimon doesn't even know what a sticky honey roast is at this point, I bet. Okay, navigate. Yeah, 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 I gotcha. Go to the location designated by Amber. Yes, I see! I know! I'm going! Wah! Wait, hold on. Hunter's bow, recurve bow. Yes! I'm gonna give you this fucking thing. There you go. Okay, uh, and then we switch to the traveler. We switch to that silver sword. Kind of a bummer. Wait, Amber's weapon was a Three star? Right? Okay. Okay. Well, it's sad, but it's something. This used Hi, to be a street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. <laughs> Not Amber saying everyone's so fucking depressed that they're trying to drink away their troubles. I'm dead. Everyone's hitting up Angel's shared and cope with a catastrophe that is storm terror. Man, that fucking sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Mondstadt. Uh, I guess I'm here to solve your problems. I got nothing better to do while I gather leads. Vile. That's a real vile name you got there. Someone did you real dirty by naming you that. Okay. Oh, it's Alan! The wannabe knight! <laughs> Hear her screaming as she's training down there. Where... Where is this high ground? Is it just over here? Mm, gotcha! Dun, da, da, da. So, the present I want to give you is... A wind glider! Yay! Wings! Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away. Oh. You're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Uh, alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. Let's see how hard I struggle with this challenge again. 
Press W to move forward. Wow. A chest. It's okay. I'll probably be exploring Mondstadt to grind soon enough. I had to scratch my nose. Hi, Amber! Phew! Punch attack. Uh-oh. Oh no, the storm's kicking up! The dragon's back! Everyone, run! The sky. Ooh. Wow. Have missed this cutscene too. That was sick. Oh, is it, oh, wait, hold on. I feel like I know what this is. Huh? Yeah. Evasive maneuvers? I don't think so, buddy. This is revenge. For what? I haven't a clue. Whoa! Man, he went wicked high. Oh, am I gonna start plummeting to the ground or something? Aw, uh, yay, he has the courtesy to bring me down safe. Uh, are you hurt? <gasps> yeah, it's just like flying with my own two wings. <gasps> He's got a nice ass. <laughs> Sorry. Power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Bro, that line goes so hard. Storm terror is attacking Mondstadt itself. Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, oh you don't right. trust me. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. Hi, Kaya! These two are travelers from afar. Corvus and Paimon. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Yes, sir. It's all I know about myself. Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. Uh. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the animal god, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. <laughs> so, uh, what's the reward? Uh, how about a traditional Mondstadt delicacy? Sticky honey roast. I just heard about the that! The fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. His eyes are so pretty. Wah, wah. Dressing room? Oh, right, because I got the wing glider. Hold on. Do I have anything for this yet? Rising star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I haven't signed in on uh, PlayStation or whatever it is. Ah, uh, right.
right. I don't have the wings of companionship yet. I have these wings on my other one. Um, we'll worry about that another time. The headquarters is this way, I think. Yeah. Well, let me get the waypoint up on that tower. Wait. Okay, good. She's wearing shorts. I was like, girl, if you're wearing another skirt under your skirt, that kind of defeats the purpose of undergarments. Ah, jeez. Oh, oh, I went and did it this time. Hmm. Ah, oh, jeez. What do I mean? What are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna figure out a way up there. You're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it just so you watch. <laughs> All of you here are forced to watch, so long as you're watching this video. I'm gonna get this waypoint. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it so good. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm watching it from the side, and all I'm thinking is, uh, uh, hey, go. Passion, 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 more passion, energy, more energy, more energy, more energy, more footwork, more footwork, more footwork, more footwork, more energy, more energy. I'm gonna need some more energy in a hot fucking second. Ah! Oh! Okay, I got it. Whew, okay. And I think that is where I'm going to leave this episode for now. Before we get to all the shameless plugs, I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my little crow heart if you watched this from start to finish. It's been my dream since I was a kid to pursue entertainment as a hobby, if not a career, so taking some time out of your day to watch this uh, helped me get a little bit closer to where I want to be in life. As of now, I'm doing 100% of this process myself, from art assets to recording to editing, so I apologize for the amateur quality now, but I promise you that it's only going to get better from here. Uh, behind the scenes, I'm working on making a PNG tuber avatar, and I'm going to look into better software and equipment if I <laughs> find that this whole shtick takes off. Um, and hey, since I'm just starting out on this crazy little adventure, our community here is going to be really small, so the odds of us having more personal, tight-knit interactions is wicked high! Uh, that being said, if you enjoy what I do, please do me a solid by liking and subscribing, maybe dropping some comments, questions, or even criticism down below, and uh, until then, it's time for me to take off. Take care, my flightless friends.